Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy and we are discussing real numbers. Uh, this is lecture number two. I hope you have already watched part one before watching this part two. In this lecture, we are going to discuss Euclid division lemma. And what is lemma? Lemma is a proven statement. Lemma is nothing else but a proven statement. So, uh, before discussing the Euclid division lemma, and the steps which is going to be followed during this Euclid division lemma, we are going to discuss what is the algorithm. Algorithm is nothing else but a steps which is to be followed to solve some questions on particular type of problems. So let us consider what is lemma first and thereafter we will discuss algorithm is nothing else but some steps so first i am going to discuss what is algorithm 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 is nothing else but uh, and the series of steps series of steps algorithm is a series of steps or even you can say well defined steps well defined steps which follow the procedure procedure to solve a particular type of problems particular type of problems problems so this is an algorithm right then what is lemma lemma is a proven statement proven a statement which is used for to prove which is used to prove another statement another statements right so lemma is a proven statement which is used to prove another statement now the thing is what is Euclid division lemma Euclid's division lemma division lemma so lemma is nothing else but a statement what do you have understand here that is a statement and this statement is about division and given by Euclid so that is why this division lemma is called Euclid division lemma what is this and what is in this lemma let me explain this suppose boy has to divide 10 by 3 he can divide 3 3 is a 9 and what is remainder 1 Again, this 3 is, we have to divide 3 to 17, then 3, 5, 15, and what is remainder? 2. Suppose 3, we have to divide 3 uh, by, by 21 by 3, 3, 7, 21, and what is remainder? 0. There is no remainder. So, when divisor is 3, right? then either remainder 1 can come or 2 can come or there is no remainder. This is only possibility. Division, is, this is called divisor. We have already discussed in the previous class. And this one is called number. That is what? Nothing else but dividend. Dividend. Right? And this one is called quotient. Quotient. And this one is called a remainder so here the simple thing is that a number can be expressed as divisor multiply by quotient plus remainder a remainder divisor plus remainder right but divisor if divisor is 3, then remainder can be either 0 or 1 or 2. So, remainder must be lesser than divisor. Either it will be 0 if it is directly divisible or 
it will be lesser than divisor right so if a and b this statement tell about if there are two numbers if there are any two numbers two numbers a and b right then uh, these two numbers coach a is for in this example i have taken 3 and 10 in which uh, 3 is lesser than 10 so if out of these two number definitely these are the two different real numbers so suppose a is greater than b so b must be divisor b is considered to be divisor right then a can be expressed as b q plus r and q is what nothing else but quotient q is quotient where a is number itself number that is called dividend and b is what divisor divisor and q is nothing else but quotient and r is nothing else but remainder r is quotient and r is remainder so in that case r is remainder in that case where r must be either greater than 0 or lesser than b and this is used this division lemma this division lemma lemma will be used to find hcf of two numbers two numbers what is the use of this lemma? This Euclid division lemma will be used to find HCF of two numbers. How is that? Let me explain with one example. And the example I can take here. Uh, any number you can take. Suppose I have taken 70 and 70 and say 15. I take here. 17 and 70 and 15. You know what is HCF? Just for uh, memory and for revision, I am going to tell you what is the HCF. Number HCF kya hota hai? So HCF of two or more numbers, two or more numbers is the highest number, is the greatest number greatest number which can divide the numbers which can divide the numbers without leaving remainder without leaving a remainder and this is what you know this is what hcf so hcf of 15 and 70 you have to find that the greatest number which can divide 15 as well as 70. Obviously, common sense you can say that this is a 5, 5 is the greatest number which can divide 15 and 70 as well. You have been uh, learned about this that uh, you have learned about long division method in which 15, 4, just 60, and then 10 left and this 10 again divisor become dividend right now so divisor become dividend and then you can write here 15 then 10 when you 10 then what is left 5 and again divisor become dividend so 5 to your 10 and that which cancels out so this is the last one which divide and leaves remainder 0 then this is nothing but remainder is 0 so uh, this one is called HCF. This is what you have learned in earlier classes. Long division method. Ye kate the hum kya? Long division method. Long division method. Right? To find HCF. 
So this one is method, but here we have not to go along with this method, not to go uh, with this method, but we have to learn something different. And using the Euclid division lemma, we have to find a chip. So first 70, the bigger number can be expressed as A is equal to BQ plus R. So bigger number is equal to 15 times of 4, that is 60 plus 10, that will be 70. Now take this is a divisor. This is nothing else but divisor and this is remainder. This is R, this is Q, right now. So Q further can be written as, sorry, this is B. This is nothing else but B. And this one is Q, coset, right now. So B, uh, divisor, B was divisor earlier and divisor become again dividend. So 15 further can be written as 10 times of 1 plus 5. Again, leaving the quotient alone. Now 10 and 5 can be taken. The divisor and remainder. Divisor and remainder. Please keep in mind, we have to always consider divisor and remainder. Divisor and remainder till remainder become 0. You have to consider every time divisor and remainder. So what is divisor here? Divisor is 10 and remainder is 5. Now bigger is equal to a smaller into 2 plus 0. In that case, since remainder is 0 here, right now, here remainder is 0 and therefore in that case further we cannot proceed further and therefore the divisor, last divisor will consider as HCF. So this is what equally division lemma and you have to go with this method to find HCF of any two numbers or even more than two numbers. So let us consider some more examples to understand this. How to use this? कैसे काम करेंगे और कैसे हम यूक्लिड डिवीजन लेमा ले आएंगे? बड़ा नंबर को पहले इधर लिखना है, छोटे नंबर से डिवाइड करना है और अगर कुछ उसका रिमेंडर बचेगा तो उसको इधर लिख देना है, है ना? So आ, कोई और एक एग्जांपल लेते हैं और एग्जांपल कोई और एक ले लेते हैं थोड़ा सा आ, यहाँ पे आ ही गया Hundred and thirty-five and two twenty-five. This is what the first question I am going to consider here. Solution of first question, right? This is what two hundred and twenty-five. This is the bigger number. One thirty-five into one because one thirty-five into two. If I will take, it will be two hundred and seventy. That will be much bigger than two hundred and twenty-five. So. 135 जो है 135 इसका 2 टाइम्स करेंगे तो 270 हो जाएगा जो 225 से बहुत ज्यादा है तो एक ही बार करेंगे अच्छा 135 अब इसमें से निकल गए तो कितने बच गए यहां से इसमें से बताइए 135 में कितना जोड़ेंगे कि ये हो जाएगा 225 तो 135 में 65 plus 25 मतलब 90 और जोड़ना चाहिए और 90 जोड़ने से क्या हो जाएगा ये 225 अब क्या लेना था मैं बताओ हमें लेना था divisor और remainder ये है d और ये है r इनको फिर consider करना था तो अगेन इन next step step two I can write ये step one है ये step two 90 into 1 plus कितना 45 ये हो गया तो ये दूसरा स्टेप हो गया दिस इज कॉल्ड स्टेप 1 दिस इज स्टेप 2 है ना अब इसके बाद हमें करना है स्टेप 3 तो स्टेप 3 में क्या करोगे फिर क्या आया बताओ फिर आ गया हमारे पास क्या-क्या लेना था हमें लेना था डिवाइजर ये d और रिमाइंडर r और बड़ा वाला 90 बराबर छोटे वाले का कितना गुना मैक्सिमम तो 2 टाइम्स और रिमाइंडर क्या बच गया 0 दिस इज स्टेप 3 ये स्टेप 3 है सिंस रिमाइंडर जब 0 आ जाए तो हम आगे उसको कंसीडर नहीं कर सकते ये लेमा को इस प्रूवन स्टेटमेंट को इस मेथड को इस प्रोसीजर को हम आगे नहीं कैरी ऑन कर सकते 
इसलिए जो अब डिवाइजर आखिरी में बच गया लास्ट डिवाइजर दैट इज कॉल्ड एच सी एफ सो द लास्ट डिवाइजर डिवाइजर विच ब्रिंग रिमाइंडर जीरो रिमाइंडर जीरो विल बी एच सी एफ ऑफ टू नंबर एच सी एफ ऑफ टू नंबर एंड देर फोर एच सी एफ एज वॉट एच सी एफ एज फोर्टी फाइव दिस इज एन आंसर ना सिमिलरली दिस सेकेंड क्वेश्चन थर्ड क्वेश्चन यू कैन डू अकॉर्डिंग टू योर ओन एंड आई होप यू डू दिस राइट आई होप यू गॉट इट नाउ but let me explain one more question uh, third question i am taking here and just to explain this what if, how third question can be dealt this is uh, 867 and 255 again the third one is 867 and 225 now bigger one can be written as a smaller one how many times it will be divided so this would be three times three times it will be um 675 so that will be 3 times 675 25 left and then 700 and 165 so what will be the remainder 167 plus 25 so this is 182 182 25 will be added in this so 5 and 7 12 6 2 8 192 167 plus 25 167 plus 25 so 61718 ah, yes 167 plus 25 is 192 This is two one ninety two. Now again, we have to think the same way. This is a divisor, and this is a remainder. No need to write this. I'm just writing this to explain this right now. Here, step one. Again, you have to think out of these two divisor and remainder. Which one is bigger? Two hundred and twenty-five page bigger. Now one twenty nine two. that we maximum once and there will be 27 no not 27 exactly sorry this is uh, 25 plus 8 33 this is 33 now again divisor is what divisor is this one this is divisor and this is remainder again bigger one is equal to 192 is equal to 33 into how many times this will come so five times Five times this will be five three jab fifteen and five three jab fifteen and one sixteen one sixty five so one sixty five and uh, this will be twenty seven twenty seven will left again out of these two procedure same D here and this is R so now thirty three and is equal to twenty seven into one Plus how much six six is left. Now further we can proceed again till the zero remainder will come. This is just step two, then step three, and then step four. Step four again. There is a this is a divisor and this is a remainder. So again twenty seven can be written as six into four plus three. And now this one is divisor and this one is remainder again. So six can be taken as three into two plus zero, and zero comes finally here remainder. So the last divisor is called HCF, and therefore HCF of two hundred and twenty-five and X eight sixty-seven. Age what three three so HCF is three.
So you have to proceed a number of steps. It may be two step, three step, four step, five step, or even six step. But uh, don't worry. Unless it will come as reminder zero, you have to follow and proceed the process till the reminder zero will come. So जब तक zero ना आ जाए, तब तक same process करना है. दो number में से जो बड़ा वाला है, वो रहेगा left hand side. और जो छोटा रहेगा उसको हम देखेंगे कितनी बार डिवाइड हो सकता है ठीक है ना और ऐसे करना है आपको लॉन्ग डिवीजन मेथड से नहीं करना है इस प्रोसेस को कैरी करना है इस पे कुछ और क्वेश्चन आप कर सकते हैं कुछ एग्जाम्पल में क्वेश्चन होंगे जो हमने बुकलेट दिया है उसमें क्वेश्चन होंगे तो इस तरह के कुछ क्वेश्चन आप कर लीजिए और इसके बाद इसके और ज्यादा अप्लीकेशन पे कैसे काम करेंगे इसको हम अगली क्लास में डिस्कस करेंगे ठीक है तो तब तक इस यूक्लिड डिवीजन लेमा को आ, लेमा का क्या है लेमा के बारे में फाइनली लिख सकते हैं इफ ए एंड बी आर एनी टू रियल नंबर सच दैट एज ग्रेटर देन बी देन ए कैन बी एक्सप्रेस एज बी क्यू प्लस आर वेयर आर इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो एंड लेस देन इक्वल टू लेस देन बी ठीक है तो ये चीज लिख सकते हैं इसी को यूक्लिड डिविजन लेमा कहते हैं आप इसको अच्छी तरह से रिवाइज कर लीजिए और किस काम में आता है ये एच निकालने के काम में आता है दो नंबर का एच निकाल सकते हैं या तीन नंबर का भी निकाल सकते हैं आपने एक लॉन्ग डिवीजन मेथड सीखा है एक डिवीजन लेवा सीख लिया इन दोनों के मेथड से कंबाइन मेथड से हम एच निकाल सकते हैं तो यूक्रेन डिविजन लेमा में स्टेटमेंट क्या होगा स्टेटमेंट लिख देता हूँ और फाइनली उसके बाद इसको स्टेटमेंट क्या होगा यूक्लिड डिवीजन लेमा यूक्लिड्स डिवीजन लेमा राइट क्या इफ ए एंड बी बी एनी टू रियल नंबर नंबर्स सच दैट A is greater than B, then A is equal to B Q plus R, where R is greater than equal to zero and less than equal to less than B. This is what the Euclidean division level. ये पूरी चीज जो है आपको याद रखनी चाहिए और यही statement जो है Euclidean division level में कहलाता है. तो I hope आपको समझ में आ गया होगा, है ना? और इस बात को समझ में आ जाने से आप ऐसे कर सकते हैं इसको दोबारा देख लीजिए और फिर कुछ क्वेश्चन ऐसे कर लीजिए और अगली क्लास में जब हम मिलते हैं तो कुछ और नई बातें करते हैं ठीक है टिल देन है ना चलिए मन लगा के पढ़िए और फिर अगली क्लास में